Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Gerudo Desert. We have now entered the... Okay, I guess Gerudo Desert. <laughs> the, what the heck was all the other desert we were in? Oh, just, that's just normal that desert. desert. Oh, that's just Steve's desert. Steve's Wait, desert. Wait, why me? Is... I don't know. I don't... It... Okay. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to find these doors, and we have to... Because, spoilers, in that chest, we need to find about two, I think, two to three gears. I thought, to was get like three, I thought it was like four or five. Okay, maybe it's four gears. We have to, uh, but anyway, and, and it's very odd that Steve also happens to be the name that I immediately jumped to as a random, like, white un random, uh, boring uh, un white guy uh, name. Not a boring white guy name, just like a very un like an un an unsuspect name, like you know the name that you wouldn't expect to have an entire desert named after it. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Bob. <laughs> Doesn't it mean? Like, doesn't it mean that it doesn't deserve it? It's just very like you would just, never expect. Yes, the legendary Steve Tower. It's like no one would look for Florida inside Steve. Like Steve. <laughs> and then, I'm sorry, I love that. Yeah, the uh, like, and then he thought Alabama. Alabama. No one would look for Florida inside, <laughs> inside Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> but I, but I love the tone. It was just like. Alabama. No one will, like, oh, oh yeah, these fuckers. But um, yeah, no one will back. ever, no one will ever suspect that the amazing Spider-Man is really just mild-mannered Peter Parker. <laughs> yeah. and, and we have to think of a new attraction, Castro Land. No, we're not Castro Land. We're trying to, and I love, I also love uh, in that bit. I also love the bit where, uh, cat because they made Castro look actually friendly, like holding his hand, like. Yeah, apparently, he's actually been dating his mother since the 40s. He's like, hi there, put her there. <laughs> We're taking Florida back to where it belongs. All right, next, Akuma. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is a series of islands for those who don't know what an archipelago is. Like, like yeah. who doesn't know that? Sorry, wow. we're just doing a bunch of green... Uh, uh, this is the part where I suddenly plug the fact that, yes, uh, please give a look-see to... Um, the green screen the, show. The green, the green screen show. It only By went Drew about... Carey. Yeah, it only it, ran for it, about oh, 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 hold on, real quick. Oh, this, is an, this is the uh, secondary usage of the uh, power glove. Not only can you, well, you can obviously you push blocks you always can, but you can also hold them. Nice. Yep, so you just hold the button down, and you can grab them, and there we go. Got Ooh. a titanium short sword. Nice. Which is just, you know, just a bit stronger. But anyway, but, um, but yeah, basically, thing this game has to a little master sword. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, basically, the green screen show, it's basically who's lying, but in front of a green screen. But yeah, it allows them to do a lot of good animation collab stuff. It's, it, it, I would love if there was like some way to do that and like have like the. I wish if there, I, you know what? I wish there was some way to like do something like that. But for like, uh, by the way, having the Goron necklace is very helpful here. Otherwise, the, those coals would be dealing damage to me. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, you think that with all these big reanimated collabs, that maybe there could be something where like someone. I mean, okay, technically the closest thing I've seen. To someone doing something like that is um, uh, Oni plays. No, not okay. No, Game Grumps did it too. They did. The, they did do a couple of these things where they took audio from one of the Game Grumps or one of an Oni plays video and did a full like had a bunch of people reanimate it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's also that, and I do know that like certain commentary groups do have like their own fan oh, animations. Like uh, I've seen plenty for Runaway Guys. Oh, hold on, Logan, mm -hmm. Logan. Are you? <laughs> Devil damn it. <laughs> yeah, it does have a rhythm to it. Mario. <laughs> but yeah, it's anyway. like... Oh, hey, Gates. Are you, master, oh. Are you wow. master using your shield yet? If so, you can try this. Why aren't you helping us out on a journey, by the way? Eh. Yeah, she, again, her, well, her whole thing, again, like, her whole arc right now is she thinks that uh, now Zelda can hold neighbor's love over multiple PCA. But, uh, again, her whole thing is... Her, her whole arc right now is... She doesn't think she's really, like, meant Needed. to be here. She, yeah, she doesn't think that she's, like, she doesn't think she has a big role in this prophecy. She just thinks, cool, I woke you up. All right, my job's done. I gotta get home now. But, Pretty much, yeah. But, as you can imagine with a game like this, little does she know she's gonna have a bigger role than she thinks. Little hey. does she know she has the Triforce of Power. She does. And yeah, it's, a bit, it's, it's kind of weird. But, uh, Again, it has to be, what I, where, did I, where did I put it? Where did I put my Triforce?! Yeah, this is, I think, the first... Yeah, I think this is now the first time in history that at someone other than Ganon or Ganondorf has wielded the Triforce of Power. But, but again, but again, their argument is that it's from a different dimension or a different world for Cadence. That's unfair. I gave her all the gears. Let's turn this bad boy around. For 150, 150 rupees. rupees. Just kidding. Here we go. Ah, oh. Oh, uh, don't tease me like that, game. Bad luck. Now, again, since I have the Gorn Ruby, I could totally sequence break this dungeon and just go... 
Yoink. Don't hide. Don't, don't, lava. Don't. And wow. now I got the boss key, and I can get the... Let's get the war drum. And uh, I can just go in and get the boss key and leave. But again, I want all the pieces of hearts. I want to try and go for somewhat 100%. So... Even though I swear, I think there's a bottle I'm missing. Like, I can get two bottles, but I've never have been able to find the third bottle. Oh, well. Let's get, let's get some uh, arrows, because I'm going to need some lightning arrows. And, uh... Let's go take out... Let's go take down this dungeon. Which, if Celia listens, she'll hear a familiar tune. Well, not now, we just left it, but, uh... <laughs> when we were, in the, we were in that hub area, they were playing the freaking Bolero Fire. I didn't hear it! You'll hear when we get back in the hub area. Yeah. Oh geez, it's a bunch well, of fire. Well, to be fair, like the like the battle like the battle theme is the battle and uh, peaceful themes of these are pretty much the same tune. It's just with a di with a with a different style. So you can probably still hear it in here. Probably. You just gotta have a really keen ear. Line up, dude. Line up, everybody. Dude, nice. Line up for the slaughter. That is the power of the spear. Grab your partner, Dowsy Dow. <laughs> oh yeah, if you listen here, Sealy. Uh, Never mind. It's like, during one of these parts, I know you can hear a little bit of it. But well, just, just tell her what it is. Well, I'm just saying the Blair of Fire. Oh, okay, my bad. I know, it, I know it does play at some point during one of these big high. Here, Ooh. wait. I hear it. Just there, yeah, just there for a bit. But yeah, it, it's mixed in, and you hear more in the hub. But yeah, I like that yep, they, I they chose this as the fire theme. <laughs> well, it's the Blair of Fire. Mm -hmm. That I can't think of any other big. I can't honestly. When I think of fire themes with Zelda, that's honestly what I think of first. I can't think of like the theme song to like the Goron Mines did not like immediately come to mind for me. Yeah. I think of fire. Fire. Uh, I mean, yeah. I guess being honest, Ocarina of Time has some of the most memorable music in the series. Yeah. That's where for a lot started. of people, yeah. Lava Star there. Link to the Pass also has some great songs. Oh, absolutely. See, I, I just can't... I, it's just, honestly, I can't think of the time I had any like song from Twilight Princess that really jumps to mind. First one that comes to mind is Hyrule Field for me. Okay. Kind of a hot there. take here, but I honestly don't... Honestly, when it comes to Zelda, the, the soundtrack usually shines outside of the outside of dungeons. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I that is true, because it's, it's usually ambient when you're in most of those dungeons. One yeah. Trap in the, one trap in Twilight Princess I find kind of underrated is the Mirror Twilight theme. Oh, yeah? Uh, when the Mirror Twilight is all put back together. Oh, yeah. Like, that, that, is it a xylophone? They probably need something for it. It's either a Leave xylophone it. or a bell or... Well, I, 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 okay, I actually heard more of a, oh, there's a rapier for Zelda. Ooh. Do, do, we'll, do, do, again, we'll use Zelda in the next dungeon, but um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it probably was a bell since usually those are like held as you know for bigger like you know ceremonies and stuff like a big big bell. Let's rub. Ow. So, what have you been thinking of this so far, Sealy? It it looks interesting. Of course, I don't know if I I don't know if I'd have the patience to go through to, to play it by myself. How about you, Hype? The uh, same boat, honestly. Alrighty. Again, don't, again, they do have a. Uh -oh. Again, oh, they dear. do have. Again, there is technically infinite lives, and there are again difficulty options and stuff. You can tweak it to like make it more comfortable playing. I don't doubt it. Just it just doesn't seem like one of the games that I would personally go out of my way to get. Okay. Just seems like in general, I, you don't seem to be a big fan of like like 2D sprite-based things. Well, that's not really the case. It's just well, a no, matter. Play... It's more so the gameplay in this, like how it's so dependent on rhythm that I'm not quite sure if I'd really. So you're not really a big fan of rhythm games. Selectively, I mean, I could, yeah. I can see that anyway. Excuse me. So oh, cute. <laughs> don't Lava, how cute. But yeah, I was gonna say like, uh, yeah, I don't think Zel I don't think Hypes can strike stuff. I mean, he played the boy in his blob. Yeah, that's. Well, that's more 2D art, but just the same basic idea. And, of course, I did record Sonic Battle for us. Right. That's right. true. Here we go, James. It's time for one of my favorite bosses. In oh, the yeah, this one. Perhaps you're stronger than you look. What pun is it today? Not that it matters. You're, you'd you never be able to defeat Brace Ganon. yourself, Steve. But well, you... Let's see what it does first. Yeah, let's take a look. Power of fire set my guitar strings ablaze. Whoa. It's not just any guitar. It's a bass guitar. And... and... Don't... Don't, don't, don't. 
looks like a van. Bass guitar most night. Damn it! There we go, rocking. <laughs> guitar most. The guitar most night. I'm surprised so. they. I'm surprised they went with, They made such an emphasis on making them like like the bass guitar specifically. Just guitar most nights by already sells itself. Now so I'm just trying to think. Like, oh, just, I'm just trying to think gosh. of what kind of instrument you could possibly use as a pun with Ganon. Uh, uh, spoilers, they don't do one, but yeah, I can't... Uh, or, uh, honestly, oh my god. That was such a missed opportunity, because Ganon still plays an organ. Why didn't they call him Organ? Organ! Why Organon. didn't they call him that? Why? Because, right. yeah, they, cause, yeah, spoilers, they don't. They just call him Ganon, but yeah, anyway. It, yeah, it's just the regular Ganon from, uh, from oh. uh, Link to the Past. And Quiet. Hey. You know, compared to all the instruments, Woo. that one looks the most generic. Yeah. yeah. And out of place in a Zelda game. That dope. Yay! Haha, <laughs> basic <Yeah. laughs> Nice. Uh, so we got one more champion left to vanquish. Yep, and this will help us stop Octavo, and we're pretty much like five six of the way done with the whole map now, so we're just gonna get out there and start working on the final <gasps> corner of the map. I'm sorry, but looking back at the button layout and how like you have like like the, the sprite for the drum, I immediately need to look at it, it's like I don't get I don't is that a I don't quite get drum out of it, more so I get a sandwich. Oh gosh, sandwich. it does look like a sandwich. Mm -hmm. It does look like a sandwich with like the lettuce and baked ketchup with a big old bun on top. Jeez, this zoomed out sprite, yeah. it does look like one. <laughs> and now here's Zelda with the rapier. So again, it's basically like Link with uh, a spear, although it's also kind of cool because I can move with it. So the way it works is that if I'm uh, here, just uh, again, oh god, by the way, here, also, welcome yeah. to our final area, Death Mountain. Which they get full on rocking in this one. Yeah, so the rapier works in the sense of no, not a dagger. Get the I don't want a get dagger. That off. So, so the way the rapier works is again, if I'm right against an enemy, I'll do a normal bout of damage. But if there are if they're one space away from me, I'll lunge at them and deal a bit more damage and also move towards them, which. You can have some fun little chains. Need help? Thank you. Uh, you can get some pretty fun chains going if you, like, position the enemies right. It also oh, can make Zelda on. pretty disgusting by the later end of the game. Oh, absolutely, especially with her ultimate weapon. <laughs> Zelda's so disgusting. She always chews with her mouth open. I almost wonder if some of these sprites are one... Or I almost wonder if some of these sprites with Zelda are ones that Seelie would want to cross-stitch. Uh, give, uh, give it till the end of the commentary. Oh, oh! A windmill hut. A windmill hut, which plays the song Storms. Yay. Hmm. See, he's like, yeah, my favorite song. <laughs> you know, I, I'm saying because I'm so tired of it because I play it on harp every single week. Oh, that's fair. Yep, so let's, turn, let's do the song of Storms. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oops. Try Oops. again. <laughs> Can you just imagine if it was the tipped up choir and Sarah going, yeah. ah! <laughs> Chat! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, like, there's that. I'm also thinking back to, like, the turtle. It's like, ah! 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 Oh, gosh, the giant turtle. Ah! 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 And now it starts to rain indoors. How does that happen? Hoop! But no, we wake up these guys. Hoop! Hoop! Our alarm went off already. Went out morning, people, but that tune always perks us up. Oh, and the dogs, like too. Overslept. Thanks for waking us up. Take this item. It'll help you cross the river north of here. And we need this item. This is the Zelda 2 attack. It's, it's a downward oh, stab. I, I hear it. The down thrust, which lets us uh, attack on enemies if we jump on top of them, which we're going to need I'll that for right some platforming up ahead. Okay. Oh, Alright, no worries. Or if you get the hover boots, you can also break the game that way, but... Now comes a push block puzzle, which it, wow. which it, you immediately negate thanks to your power glove. I am ashamed to say, I serious. I am ashamed to say I spent like seven minutes on that block puzzle before I realized I can pick these up. <laughs> that's the that's the glory of choosing your choosing the adventure the way you want to play. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot. I completely forgot to say that. Now you notice there, this game actually supports uh, local co-op. It does. Wow. It's just a shame that none of us live here close enough to each other to test that. Yeah, and honestly, it's not like, but and it's not like they're Switch time. emulation. Time. <laughs> yeah, just give it give it time, like maybe ten years from now when Switch emulation becomes a thing. Oh yeah, that'd be cool for like. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder actually if they'd be able to do that. I mean, it wouldn't. I mean, they. I mean, I'm trying to think what the hardest console would be to like 
emulate, but it has to be like an old one. DS, DS, I will, DS and 3DS, I always thought were like some of the weirder, like more complex ones to do, but they actually yeah. did a decent job. Ooh, this ain't gonna be easy. Okay, as long as they use the King of Samaria and the Power Glove well, I think I can do this. So, it's worth a shot. I wanted, but I want to do because that's the other thing is I can pick these guys up and now. With the Power Glove and the King of Samaria, I can usually figure out block puzzles pretty well now. So let's see. I want. Oh, so to... don't even need the game. Okay, that pushed it over there though, for some dumb reason. Okay, let's go over here. There. Now it's locked in place. There. As long as there's a block behind it, you won't accidentally push in. Instead, you'll hop on top of it. Oh, my new boots wore out. Nuts. I wore a hole. Well, what do you think's gonna happen when you wear a hole in it just because you're hopping around all day? Yeah, it never hurt, never hurts to keep your feet on the ground every <clears throat> once in a while. Oh, and there you go, the ice rod. Now, I would have loved if there was a boss like you know, if there was a boss that required you know like Turtle Rock, like you needed like the ice and fire rod. But again, they're very like optional. Like again, there are. Like the Deku Leaf, like there's at least, I would say a solid like four to six items you just don't really ever need to use in your playthrough. Yeah. Though honestly, it's probably for the best, because honestly, because I, I, I didn't like that bit about the, um, whatever that boss was from uh, Turtle Rock. Yeah, I forget its name. Dang it, do you remember it, Seely? I'm sorry, I was spacing out what? The, 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 the boss from Turtle Rock with the red and blue head, I forgot its name. I don't think that was Gleok. No, it wasn't Glia. Oh my god, I feel like it ended with... Hang on, I'll look it up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me clear out another room. Ouch. That can hack. I will say, like, as far as all the um, the levels are concerned in Games of Hyrule, I always felt Death Mountain was the most unremarkable. Well, it's just a mountain. It, it, they, and they just kind of throw a mishmash of enemies Trinex. at you. Try next. Next. Thank you. Yeah, that. I, I mean, yeah, I didn't like. I didn't like the whole thing of needing the like re requiring the freaking um, r rods just to beat him. Especially considering the fact that it is pretty easy to miss the ice from the ice um the, uh, the ice rod. Kind of like how it's easy, easy, pretty easy to miss the um. Oh, hey beetle. Hey beetle. Hey Pushing beetle. All of his loot. Hi. I'm gonna buy some of my stuff, and he sells us a bottle. And this is the second bottle. I still to this day have no idea where the heck the third bottle would be. Keep looking, but um, anyway, we'll, we'll have to say. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's like it's pretty easy to miss the ice rod and look to the past. Kind of like how it's pretty easy, pretty damn easy to miss the fire arrows in Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. Oh geez, yeah, the fire. Yeah, no, that's a weird one. Yeah, but the, I mean, I understand. I understand that they give you a hint into how it works, but it's very fickle. And also, honestly, not. I don't think she really did, it d described how it works all that well. I forget, is there ever a point in the game where you really need ice arrows? Nope. So yeah, I guess imagine if this game had like a lot of its items be ice arrows. I see that bomb of a wall. I mean, if huh. you really want to, if you want to freeze your mooks that badly, then go for it. True. I need an arrow. How are you doing, Sealy? I'm doing okay. I'm just kind of multitasking here, so sorry I'm a bit silent. What you doing? I'm looking up some uh, 3D diamond paintings. Okay. All right, cause we gotta fight this thing then. Yeah, unfortunately, just, just you're gonna have to it. deal with the Beemos. Honestly, in some cases, I usually just tank the, the, the enemies and it works. Okay, what, what did I do all this for? Diamonds. Oh, Dang it! <laughs> Fucking randomizer working against me. At this point, you don't here. really need diamonds anymore. Well, that's the thing. Is like, I, I feel like that would be, I guess, one big issue with the diamonds is that. Their value is entirely incumbent upon how often you die, basically. Right. If you're not dying too often, you're never really going to use it. It would have been nice if there was some big, like, thing I could save up for. Or, like, if, like, there was a way that you could always just, like, get, always get a discount. Like, as opposed to spending rupees on a potion, you could always just spend a few diamonds to get it as well for the same value. Like, I guess, <laughs> I guess implementing some weird freemium currency thing without actually being a freemium currency. In some regards, the gems could be considered its own level of freemium. True. I mean, I mean, great. So that's always like the most generic item to always make into a um, premium currency. I mean, hell, look at Doctor Mario World. Oh, yep. Yeah. Right, that was a weird one. How's that been for you so far? It's. I think the gameplay is fine. It's just that that's not. A, I feel like it. It really goes to show that Nintendo really should not be following the same meld of every other mobile, of other uh, mobile, uh, mobile game developer, because Which... first of all. Um, 
the way you unlock um, your characters and allies in that game, or doctors and uh, doctors and uh, nurses, for lack uh -huh. of a better word, in that game, um, it requires spending either 400 coins or 40 gems, and the only way to get gems is through oh, paying, in, paying real money, or on the very rare occasion where. Hmm? How long and how how fast do the coins get given to you, or the pretty like slow? I would say maybe every other maybe 10, 15 levels or so, maybe more. I forget exactly. But here's the kicker: whenever you pay that four hundred or forty or forty uh, or forty of that currency, it is completely random on what you're gonna get. And for, in my case, every fucking time I got a goddamn nurse. So it's just. Loot boxes, then. Isn't and it? Kind of, yeah. Like, if you you want to get a doctor, then you're gonna have to hope your luck is good. Jeez. So for the, so if you want to play as the likes of Doctor Luigi or Doctor Toad right from the get go, ha! Keep dreaming. Is there any way to unlock the the doctor specifically in game or no? There really? is one. If there's one thing I'll give credit to uh, Doctor Mario World is that uh, pretty early on in the game you start with Doctor Mario, but then. Dr. Peach and Dr. Bowser sort of get and come into the fray, and you're actually given a choice of which doctor you want to start off with for the rest of the game, and then every other ones you and the and then the ones that you don't pick can be unlocked later through the uh, for the uh, shop. I getcha. Also, here's me showing off the multiplier damage, which basically killed that talus in one hit. Just yeah, again, is the 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 multi way multiplier damage works with the obsidian buff is the the better combo I can keep up. The more damage per strike my uh, weapon will do, which can really break some uh, encounters. But but yeah, yeah. Bottom, but yeah, bottom line on my end is just I feel like that game should have just went the Super Mario Run um, logic as opposed to just every other fucking mobile game in the market that really heavily uses premium. Right, I didn't mind the way Super Mario Run did it, where it was a little bit pricey, but it's basically a full game after that. Like I didn't mind that. Yeah, I feel like that would have worked better. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, uh, stay tuned for the next part of Cadence. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, what'd I miss?